everybody, Kelly Thompson with thetechinator.com. Um, so, headed to CES. Driving down, I'm in Utah, just passed through Cedar City a few minutes ago, and that, that's a gorgeous part of Utah, if you ask me. I really like that, that part of the state. Uh, I think it's really, I can say, a really nice little quaint town. And if I ever move away from the part of Colorado that I currently live in, that's gorgeous, and I, I really enjoy it. I would consider Cedar City, that's a nice spot. But anyway, so what are we gonna see at CES? What's the one big thing? Well, it sounds like if you're gonna put a, you know, narrow it down to one thing, it sounds like everybody in their dog is coming up with a tablet device. Um, the popularity of the iPad has basically spawned an industry. Um, the interestingly was was started by by Microsoft and Bill Gates. I mean, it was it was kind of their vision back in the late '90s or early 2000s. Um, when I went to Comdex in 2001, um, which was one of the last Comdexes, actually, unfortunately, that uh, that that event kind of went away. Now it's back as a virtual event, but uh, the Las Vegas event, while it had been kind of the staple for the computer industry anyway, just disappeared. Uh, but at the uh, Comdex in 2001. Um, they had some, you know, Windows Tablet Edition was brand new, wasn't even really out yet, and they had some demo demonstration devices that uh, when I went to the Microsoft booth, they wouldn't even let you hold. They would hold it for you and let you see it, and that's about all you could do. But for what, well, for various reasons, that didn't catch on. Um, you know, the devices, they couldn't find the sweet spot for size versus, you know, heavy it was and bulky it was, you know, what's, where's the, where's the sweet spot, how do we make them, uh, I think the most popular were the convertibles that the screen would rotate around so that you could hold it as a tablet, uh, or you could flip it back and have a keyboard underneath it, and, um, uh, that, those made the most sense, but again, nothing really just flew off the shelves, um, enter Apple, uh, about a year ago with the iPad, and, they kind of found that sweet spot, um, the 10-inch screen, uh, similar to the netbook, which I think the netbook kind of led us to the, uh, the adoption of the iPad as a, as a reasonable screen size, because, you know, a lot of us were already used to it with the MSI Wind, which is my uh, netbook of choice, uh, but, uh, you know, there's gobs of them out there that are all around that 10-inch size, uh, anywhere from about 8 to 12, but again, the sweet spot seems to be 10, and that's what the iPad came out at, and of course, using the, uh, I, the same OS as the iPhone, so people were already used to how it works, um, they could easily, um, transition from their phone to their iPad without having to learn how to use it, they already do. Um, so it was, a, it was a great design, I mean, everything's wonderful about that device, and now, of course, everybody's um, riding the coattails of that success and trying to come out with their own Samsung with their Galaxy Tab, which is a smaller device, it's, uh, I believe, a 7-inch screen, and, uh, I have not seen that one yet, I'm looking forward to seeing it at CES, but, uh, you know, so, you know, is that more the sweet spot? Um, for a tablet, or is the 10 inch, or we're gonna go 12, you know, it's hard to say. But we'll take a look at the tablets and just kinda see what uh, that industry, industry looks like, uh, that segment looks like, and keep our eyes open for other cool gadgets at CES, and uh, we'll report them right here at thetechinator.com. If you like what you see, tell your friends. Uh, feel free to tweet about it and all that good stuff, and, uh, and we'll, uh, be updating uh, the technator.com and you know getting more of the uh, blog entries updated as, as time goes on we're going to be more consistent about that that's that's the goal so uh, anyway hope you enjoy and we'll see you uh, right back here with more CES updates take care